This is a test blog and default. We will install Spot Commerce template for this blog. Extract your download package and access folder Spot Commerce template XML. Open the latest version of the template with your text editor. In this example, we will use Notepad Editor. Select and copy all code from the file. Access your blog template. Open your template editor. And replace all current template code with the code that you just copied from template file. Press Save Template button to apply. Click back to return template page. Click Gear button to active responsive template. Opt in, no. Show desktop template on mobile devices. And click Save. Your site will look like this after install the template. Access your blog layout. Edit header widget and upload your logo. Here is example logo after uploaded. Return back your blog layout. Edit header image background widget and upload background for header. Edit main menu widget to add menu to your site. We will add three menu items. Submenu will start with underscore symbol. Sub of sub will start with two underscore symbols, and so on. In slider section, edit image widgets to upload images to slider. Input link for slider image in link field. Input caption for image. Action button text will be wrapped with left square bracket and right square bracket at the end of caption field. Subtitle text will be wrapped with left square bracket and right square bracket at the end of title field. Now, our slider had one image. Do the same steps with other image widgets to add more images to slider. Drag and drop image widgets to rearrange image order in slider. Here is our slider after add other image.
Edit Horizon Image Background and Upload Background for Horizon Section. Edit Get Updates widget to allow your customer subscribe your RSS feed, input your feed burner URL or leave it as default and click Save. Access Settings and choose Search Preferences. Enable and input your site description. Now, we will add the first product. Input your product title and product content description. And product header description. Input current price of product by adding a label that starts with underscore symbol. Upload image for your product at anywhere and post content. Publish the product and fresh page to see changes. Here is the price that you input it and labels field. This header description. This is content description. We will add more tags for this product. You can input more labels to group products into collections. Now, we will modify this product to an on sale product. In Labels field, input old price by adding a label that starts with minus symbol. Refresh and see the changes. Now, we will change this product to an out of stock product. Just input a label with name exclamation mark zero for it. It's pretty easy to change status for products. You can also import testing data if your blog is a test blog. Edit blog widget and modify number of posts on main page to A2. Make home page become more beautiful. Next, we will add content for text widget in horizon section.
We can also add icon for this text widget by wrapping font awesome code with double pound sign and double pound sign. You can learn more about how to add icon for this text widget in template document at text widget in horizon section. Edit collections widget to show products as the way you like. Edit social links widget to add social links for your site. Input font awesome code and new site name field. And your social link in new site URL field. Do the same steps to add other social links. Access Pages menu. And add new static page for your site. Then edit Pages widget to show and arrange pages as you like. The first thing we will do with admin settings is input verify code. Log in to your Theme Forest account and choose Downloads tab. Download license certificate and purchase code file. Open the downloaded file and copy your item purchase code. Access online documentation of the template. We provided you the link in offline documentation. Go to the bottom of document then input item purchase code and your site URL to get verify code. Copy the verify code and paste into content field of verify code widget in your blog layout. The next steps. We will learn how to translate the template. Example, if you want to translate or modify the phrase add to cart, you will edit translator widget. Then input the phrase you want to translate into new site URL field.
and your translated text into new site name field then press add link. Save and refresh the site to see changes. We will try to translate on sale phrase. Remember, all phrases are case sensitive. With this button, it has two separate phrases add and items to cart. So, you must translate them separately. The next things we need to configure are template variables. Example, you want to change the currency code. Just edit variables widget. Input variable name and new site name field and variable value in new site URL field and press add link. Save and refresh the page to see changes. You can find the full list of variable names and default values in template documentation.